All right, this is my Predator 420 on my Swamp Runner long tail mud motor. Quick view of that. This is not the Hemi version. If you've been looking for a Predator lately, Hemi version is kind of hard to find. So I took what I could get to get it put on there. Um, just got the kit put together. Everything seems to be functioning well. I've ran it only here in the shop. I haven't put it on the boat yet. This is the medium kit. Pretty simple to put together. Um, if you've put them together, the hardest part is the kill switch and getting the throttle hooked up. Everything else is pretty simple to do. This is the 85 inch um, tail. This is the XS version for salt water with the stainless steel. Not going to run in salt water primarily, but uh, got it just so I have the ability to based on where I live. <clears throat> uh, we've got the eight and a half inch prop currently on there. Built a little skeg guard so it doesn't bang up my John boat when I get it put in. Just made a little sandwich of uh, a couple pieces of wood here. So pretty simple. Comes on and off. I did get the weed cutter with this kit. Um, I haven't seen anybody else run that. It's like a $5 option from Swamp Runner. So I thought I'd give it a try. It's really all it is is a metal, flat metal piece and two screws. And the screws are already threaded in the skeg there. So we'll see how that works but all in all pretty easy to put together if you watch any of the other videos out there you'll see all the other people that put them together how easy they go together i think the hardest part was running the electrical cables for the kill switch down this tubing um, recommend that you do those first before you do the throttle cable it seemed to work a little bit better so once again on the boat we'll do another video show you how things are going with it um, the only real modifications I made is I did put a tachometer on seems to work pretty well just testing it here in the shop I removed the washer from the throttle um, nut back there you probably can't see it just to make this move a lot easier in throttling. <clears throat> Since the handle sticks out of the boat and transporting a good two and a half, three feet, got a uh, oversized load marker off of Amazon made out of canvas. Seems like it's pretty good. Got a reflective strip in the middle. See how it holds up going down the road. One thing I want to try with this instead of using P cord to hold my handle in place. Um, I've got this um, daisy chain, which is meant for climbing. I use it as a tether for my tree stand. It needs to be replaced for that. So I'm gonna try it with this. It has different notches for different heights. So either holding the prop out of the water completely, or maybe just being able to put it in just for trolling um, or for longer trips down the lake or river. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, tethered my key on there so it doesn't get lost so that's all for now and uh, once we get it put on the boat and give it a try we'll do another video all right thanks